It's Michael Tiny Saul. It's Sunday, May 8th at 7 p.m. Happy Mother's Day to all the mommies out there. This is viewer requests for the week of May 9th, 2011. Start with Rim. Talked about Rim last week as well. The same person wrote back as well as a few more people. I talked about the 78.6% retracement being the line in the sand. We closed above it to end the previous week, but we opened up above it and sold right off to start last week and you could see here that it's continuing to drip down towards the target down here which is 5243 I know it says 5247 but uh, that number is wrong so that would be the target on the downside if it reversed course and came back over the 78.6 percent retracement then I'd watch these moving averages as potential resistance Google Google to me looks like it's in a bear flag that's right, Ken, the person asked me if Google was in a bear flag. I agree with that. The first target would be a retest of the lows down here at 519, and then a test of big number 500 would likely be the next support. Baidu, okay, Baidu playing a little um, ping pong between the 50-day and the 20 EMA, so see which one of these breaks first. And that could be something you may want to watch if you're looking to set up an entry on that. Ford, you know, nothing really here on Ford. It's still very choppy. This little pattern that looked like it may have uh, resolved to the upside didn't do that. So uh, nothing really going on there. Citigroup, trade split adjusted. I th believe it had the reverse split trades that way Monday. So we'll see what happens after it's trading at $45 or whatever it's going to be uh, trading at and make it, uh, you know, a quick fade off it and make it ramped. Who knows? Uh, but I think it's better to just wait a couple of days before uh, you can see the reaction to it. That doesn't mean it's not tradable, but, you know, I just don't have an opinion on it right here. Here's Goldman. Okay, Goldman looks lower, but has to break below this low and stick. Okay, 149.55. The next target down below would be down here in this area, 142.54. 42.54, that's Goldman. Qualcomm. Okay, Qualcomm to me doesn't look like much here. It looked like it could have been in a continuation slash consolidation like pattern, but this rejection on Friday, to me, it just looks messy. Bank of America, as soon as I type it incorrectly. Okay, Bank of America looks lower to me. Looks like this is setting up in some sort of flag. It's a little messy here, but uh, you can see we have this gap right here. Or it's actually a lap, I apologize. The gap is 12.07, the lap is 12. So below that, could get a retracement back down to these lows down at uh, 10.91. That's uh, Bank of America. Caterpillar. Okay, Caterpillar. Wouldn't be the view requests without a request for Caterpillar. <laughs> you can see here, looked like it, it wanted to pull back and then maybe pop out of it. Kind of looks like the market, right? If you throw up the spy, it looks similar, right? Uh, but right now, I give the same opinion that I, I give in the S&P, which is... Uh, we have to wait and see if this forms a higher low here or, um, you know, if this is, it wants to just take this reversal that it did on Friday and just keep chugging down to the downside here. So, uh, no opinion on that just yet. Electronic Arts, yeah, I mean, it had the spinning top on Friday, so we want to see uh, what that means. Usually, that, that uh, lack of commitment could lead to reversal, but of course, unless there's confirmation... It's all for Nort. Here's Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers I was looking at Thursday night for a potential trade on Friday, but I didn't add it to the list. And that wouldn't have triggered anyway, but you could see here we came down, tested the 50-day moving average. So if that holds, we could get a bounce 
and a retracement back, maybe even a try for these highs. But if this consolidates and breaks, we could get into this gap here. It means we could uh, test the low 50s. WTI. Okay, this was one from the watch list, so somebody wanted to know what I think now. Stopped out for a half unit trade on this one, and I don't see anything here. So uh, that's why it hasn't been on the list. I thought it looked okay over here, but just triggered and failed. So I don't see anything uh, there. And then finally, gold and silver. So GLD I had the inside doji on Friday. I think this is going to digest for a couple of days. So uh, I think after the congestion forms, there may be an, an opportunity to bracket the consolidation and look for a break one way or the other. And silver, uh, in my opinion, this is a real, real, real nasty fall here. I think it looks worse than gold. And uh, I think it's because a lot more speculators were involved with silver thinking that uh, they may have missed gold. So now they're going to go on to a cheaper alternative. I, you know, there's a plenty of speculators in gold too. Okay, but and this was just... A crater here and uh, you can see the 50-day moving average over here oh let's buy the 50-day it's got to bounce the first time off the 50-day and nope uh, you know I believe there were margin calls here uh, especially with the commodity silver has been known to wipe out more than its share of traders very volatile in the, uh, the commodity silver gold okay so uh, but silver especially has a real nasty reputation and moves like that uh, like this are reasons why. So anyway, once again, I would uh, wait for something to set up here. There's no trigger on this right here. So that's it. That's a viewer request for this week. Stay tuned. I'll be doing the uh, watch list for the week of May 9th next. Have a great trading week.